After accepting the work of Almighty God in the last days, she wants to spread the gospel to her friend. My friend has believed in the Lord for a long time, so I told her about God's new work. Unexpectedly, her friend insists on her religious notions and refuses to investigate. I haven't been in the faith for long, and I can't resolve my friend's questions. I want another sister to give her fellowship, but she doesn't agree, so I don't know what to do next. In the end, how does she rely on God to bring her friend before him? In the fall of 2011, I met a fellow villager named Fang Min. She had good humanity and was kind. She had believed in the Lord for over 20 years, attended gatherings, and read the Bible. She was a genuine believer. So I wanted to show her God's gospel of the last days. At the time, I hadn't been a believer long and knew little truth. So I asked Sister Song Jiayin to talk with Fang Min about it. Feng Min decided then to investigate Almighty God's work in the last days. Thank God. Thank, Thank God. God. I was very happy at that time. But when I visited Feng Ming a few days later, she didn't want to keep investigating. Oh, what happened? Feng Min said, I read Almighty God's words and felt they were good. So I called my mother and told her the news of the Lord's return. She said that, you believe in Eastern Lightning, and that I shouldn't believe it. Our preachers often say, God's words and work are all in the Bible, and there are none of God's words outside the Bible. Eastern Lightning's preaching departs from the Bible, and it can't be the Lord's return. Many religious people think this. Yeah. yeah. How did you fellowship with Feng Min to resolve it? How? I saw that Feng Min was deceived by her mother, so I asked her, if we believe that God's words and work are in the Bible, and that they don't occur outside of the Bible, is this not delimiting God to only Scripture? Could it be that God can't do new work outside the Bible and can't say any new words? God is the Creator, the source of life. He is almighty, wise, and diverse. Can the Bible alone represent the whole of God? How can God's words and work be limited to the Bible? Right. God's work is always new. Each stage of His work builds on the previous one, with newer and higher work each stage. Yes. In the age of law, God issued laws in order to lead people in living on earth. In the age of grace, God didn't repeat the previous age's work, but did the work of redemption based on the work of the Age of Law. Is this stage of work recorded in the Old Testament? No. No. Those who kept to the Old Testament rejected Lord Jesus' work and were abandoned and cast out by God. Hmm. In the last days, it's the same. In God's plan for salvation, He does the work of judgment based on people's needs to completely resolve people's sin to cleanse them. Following the footsteps of the Lamb and accepting God's new work is the only way to gain God's salvation. Right. I said, your mother hasn't seen God's new words, so she was saying those things to you. Investigate first. Don't decide blindly. If you miss the Lord's return, you will not have the chance to be saved by God. Exactly. exactly. But no matter what I said, she wouldn't listen. I wanted another sister to fellowship, but Feng Min would only talk to me. And then, she said she had a train ticket to return to her hometown. She was so disturbed and shaken. If she went back there, wouldn't her pastor disturb her even more? Yes. I was also worried. But Feng Min had decided, and I had no choice. I knew she wouldn't listen to what I had to say at the time. So I left. After I got home, thinking of how little hope there was to preach to Feng Min once she left, I had little faith and felt preaching the gospel was too hard. I felt even worse. I was beginning to feel negative, but I recalled God's word. 
In the age of grace, Jesus had pity and grace for humans. If one sheep was lost out of a hundred, he would leave the ninety-nine to look for the one. This line does not represent a mechanical action nor a rule. It shows God's urgency to bring salvation to people, as well as his deep love for them. It is not a way of doing things. It is a kind of disposition, a sort of mentality. Amen. Amen. God's words were very moving. If one of a hundred sheep is lost, God will give up ninety-nine to find the one lost sheep. I saw that God's desire to save people is sincere. God doesn't want to lose anyone who truly believes in Him. God's love for people is so great. It is. Contemplating this, I was ashamed. To save corrupt humankind, God came incarnate to earth and paid a weighty price in the hope that sincere believers in God will come before God and accept God's salvation. When I found it hard to preach, I withdrew and became passive. I ignored God's will. Although Feng Min was deceived and disturbed and had some notions, she was a true believer in God. I had to do my best to help her understand the truth, dispose of her notions, and return to God. This was my duty. Yeah. yeah. I recalled another passage of God's words. Huh. Man's heart and spirit are held in the hand of God. Everything of his life is beheld in the eyes of God. Whether or not you believe this, any and every single thing, whether it is living or whether it is dead, will shift, change, renew, and disappear in accordance with God's thoughts. Such is the way in which God presides over all things. Amen. God's word gave me confidence and strength. Any and all things are in God's mighty hands, including people's thoughts and ideas. To human eyes, Feng Min was deceived and disturbed, had to return to her hometown, and the hope of preaching the gospel to her was slim. But God rules over all. If she was God's sheep, she would understand God's voice. Yes. All I could do is try my best. Until the end of the matter, I couldn't give up. Hmm. Once I saw this, I prayed to God. Dear God, Feng Min was disturbed and now won't investigate. I entrust her to your hands. If she is your sheep, I wish to do my best to preach the gospel to her. Thank God. After that, I learned that Feng Min believed her train was at 9.10 p.m., but it was actually at 9.10 a.m., so she couldn't leave. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank God. You could continue to preach the gospel to her. Yeah. yeah. I saw that people's hearts and spirits are all in God's sovereignty. God orchestrates and arranges everything. I thanked God over and over and felt more confident about preaching to Feng Min. Thank mm. God. Hmm. Then I went to see Feng Min, and she still clung to her notions, so I read Almighty God's words to her. Since we are searching for the footprints of God, it behooves us to search for God's will, for the words of God, for His utterances. Because wherever there are new words spoken by God, the voice of God is there. And wherever there are the footsteps of God, God's deeds are there. Wherever there is the expression of God, there God appears. And wherever God appears, there the truth, the way, and the life exist. In seeking God's footprints, you have ignored the words, God is the truth, the way, and the life. And so, many people even when they receive the truth, do not believe that they have found God's footprints. And still less do they acknowledge the appearance of God. What a grave mistake! The appearance of God cannot be reconciled with man's notions, still less 
can God appear at the behest of man. God makes his own choices and his own plans when he does his work. Moreover, he has his own objectives and his own methods. Whatever work he does, he has no need to discuss it with man or seek his advice, much less to notify each and every person of his work. This is the disposition of God, which should, moreover, be recognized by everyone. If you desire to witness the appearance of God, to follow God's footsteps, then you must first walk away from your own notions. You must not demand that God do this or that, much less should you place him within your own confines and limit him to your own notions. Instead, you should ask how you are to seek God's footprints, how you are to accept God's appearance, and how you are to submit to the new work of God. This is what man should do. Amen. After reading this, I fellowshiped with her. If we want to welcome the Lord's return, we must learn to let go of our own notions. You know that God's thoughts are beyond human thought. God does not work according to human imagination. Mm. Right. You think that all of God's words and work are in the Bible, and none occur outside the Bible. But does this have a basis in God's Word? No. Isn't it based on human notions and imaginings? Right. When the Lord Jesus came to work, the Pharisees didn't look at the Lord Jesus' truth. They clung to the Old Testament, thinking that the work of the Lord Jesus were beyond the Bible. So they used this as an excuse to condemn Him. And finally, they committed the heinous sin of nailing him to the cross. We need to learn a lesson from the failure of the Pharisees. Yeah. God's words and work aren't constrained by any person or thing, let alone by the Bible. God speaks more words and does more new work to fulfill his management plan and the needs of the salvation of humankind. Yeah. yeah. So, to determine whether Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus, we can't look at whether Almighty God's words and work go beyond the Bible. We must see if Almighty God's words are the truth and whether Almighty God can do the work of saving mankind. Because only God is the truth, the way, and the life, and only God can save humankind. Yeah. You've read the words of Almighty God, and you acknowledge the authority and power of Almighty God's word. His words reveal His 6,000-year management plan, mysteries of the Bible, who can enter His kingdom, and the future destination of humankind. No one knows these mysteries of truth, and only God could reveal them. Right. But before I could finish, Feng Min interrupted me and stopped me there. Then I thought, is it because I know too little truth and my fellowship isn't clear? After that, I wanted Jai Yin to fellowship with Fang Min, but Fang Min refused. I was worried. I hadn't believed in God for very long. But Fang Min believed for more than 20 years, and I couldn't help her. It was so difficult. I wanted to quit. I thought, if I can't preach well, then I'll stop trying. I felt worse. And on the way home, I had no motivation. Others at a gathering learned about my state, and they read God's words to me. Let me read it this time. Okay. What does faith refer to? Faith is the sincere heart and the true belief that humans should possess when they cannot see or touch something. When God's work does not align with human notions, when his work is beyond human reach. This is the faith that I speak of. People are in need of faith during times of hardship and times of refinement. 
and with faith comes refinement. The two of them cannot be separated. No matter how God works, and no matter your environment, you're able to pursue life and seek the truth, seek knowledge of God's work, have an understanding of His deeds, and act based on truth. Doing so is what it is to have true faith, and doing so shows that you have not lost faith in God. You can only have true faith in God if you are able to persist in pursuing the truth through refinement, if you're able to truly love God and never develop doubts about Him, to practice truth, to satisfy Him, no matter what He does, and seek to be considerate of His will. Amen. Amen. After reading this, a sister said, If we're passive and withdraw when preaching is hard, it's because we don't see God's will. God lets these struggles come to us to perfect our faith, and so we can learn to lean on God. And through these difficulties, we learn the truth and how to testify. Yes. Through her fellowship, I realized that God's good will was within my difficulty preaching. God wanted to perfect my faith and help me see more truth. Right. Right. But when it was hard, instead of relying on God to resolve Feng Min's notions and bring her before God, I wanted to withdraw and give up. I didn't want to put more effort in or pay more of a price, and I didn't consider God's will. When the facts revealed me, I saw I had no faith in God at all, and my stature was small. I recalled God's word. And the more that people cooperate and pursue God's requirements, the more the Holy Spirit works. The Holy Spirit works through people's cooperation. Yeah. yeah. I only had to try my best to testify God's appearance and work to her. Hmm. Mm. Although Feng Min had been in the faith over 20 years and knew the Bible, I had Almighty God's Word. God's Word is the truth and can solve every problem. As long as I relied on God and paid a price, God would enlighten her. Hmm. After that, I sought with those who understood the truth about the notions Feng Min held, and they helped me find related passages for her. Then, I went to Feng Min's house again and read Almighty God's Word to her. <sighs> Does doctrine need to be applied to the work of God? And must God work according to the foretelling of prophets? After all, which is greater, God or the Bible? Why must God work according to the Bible? Could it be that God has no right to exceed the Bible? Can God not depart from the Bible and do other work? Why did Jesus and his disciples not keep the Sabbath? If he were to keep the Sabbath and practice according to the commandments of the Old Testament, why did Jesus not keep the Sabbath after he came, but instead washed feet, covered head, broke bread, and drank wine? Is this not all absent from the commandments of the Old Testament? If Jesus honored the Old Testament, why did he break with these doctrines? You should know which came first, God or the Bible. Being the Lord of the Sabbath, could he not also be the Lord of the Bible? If you wish to see the work of the Age of Law and to see how the Israelites followed the way of Jehovah, then you must read the Old Testament. If you wish to understand the work of the Age of Grace, then you must read the New Testament. But how do you see the work of the last days? You must accept the leadership of the God of today and enter into the work of today. For this is the new work, and no one has previously recorded it in the Bible. Today, God has become flesh and selected other chosen ones in China. God works in these people, 
He continues on from his work on earth and continues on from the work of the age of grace. The work of today is a path that man has never walked and a way that no one has ever seen. It is work that has never been done before. It is God's latest work on earth. Thus, work that has never been done before is not history, because now is now, and has yet to become the past. People do not know that God has done greater, newer work on earth, and outside of Israel, that it has already gone beyond the scope of Israel, and beyond the foretelling of the prophets, that it is new and marvelous work outside of the prophecies, and newer work beyond Israel, and work that people can neither perceive nor imagine. How could the Bible contain explicit records of such work? Who could have recorded every single bit of today's work without omission in advance? Who could have recorded this mightier, wiser work that defies convention in that moldy old book? The work of today is not history. And as such, if you wish to walk the new path of today, then you must depart from the Bible. You must go beyond the books of prophecy or history in the Bible. Only then will you be able to walk the new path properly. And only then will you be able to enter into the new realm and the new work. Amen. Amen. After reading God's words, I fellowshiped with her. You think that since Almighty God's words and work aren't in the Bible, He's not the returned Lord. This restricts God to what's in the Bible, which delimits God. Yeah. yeah. Did God come first, or did the Bible come first? Did the Bible exist when God first created the heavens and the earth? Abraham did not have the Bible. He didn't believe in God according to the Bible. Can we really say that Abraham did not believe in God? We must understand that the Bible is only a historical record, written and edited after God completed that work. Yes. There was no New Testament when Lord Jesus came to work. There was only the Old Testament. It was centuries after the Lord Jesus worked that the Old and New Testaments came about. This proves that God's work preceded the Bible. It's true. Right. God appears and works in the last days, so how could His work be recorded in the Bible in advance? Right. Lord Jesus prophesied that in the last days He would express all truth and open the scroll. These things are accomplished in the last days, so how could they be in the Bible? Exactly. Right. I continued, if we want to welcome the Lord, we must go beyond the Bible and investigate God's current words and work. It's the only way to follow God's footsteps. Yeah. After I fellowshiped with Feng Min, she understood some of it, but she was still confused and said, What Almighty God says is right. It is true that God's work came first and the Bible after, and I understand that God is bigger than the Bible. But I have been reading the Bible for decades, and I can't just simply let go of it. I still need the Bible. Then, Feng Min asked me several new questions. They were a little confusing to me. I didn't know which aspects of the truth to fellowship on. When I got home, I prayed to God and asked Him to guide me. I wanted to fellowship with Feng Min again. Hmm. I went back to her house and saw an open Bible and a book of Almighty God's words on the windowsill. I saw that although Feng Min said she didn't accept it in her heart, she wanted to study God's work. And I saw some hope for her. Thank God. She had the desire to seek. Yes. yes. The Lord Jesus said, He who seeks finds, to him who knocks it will be opened. As long as people are willing to seek, they will be enlightened and guided by God. Yes, right. right. Later, Feng Min fell ill. 
I took time off from my job to take care of her and read her God's word. My boss scolded me for taking too much time off. At first, I took it. It'd all be fine, even if I suffered, if Feng Min could accept the true way. But after several fellowships with Feng Min, she still didn't agree. By then, I was discouraged. I felt that I had paid such a price, but she still refused me. How long would I have to preach before she accepted it? The more I thought, the worse I felt, and I wanted to quit. After that, I read in God's word, Are you aware of the burden on your shoulders, your commission, and your responsibility? Where is your sense of historic mission? How will you serve as a master in the next age? Do you have a strong sense of masterhood? How would you explain the master of all? Is it really the master of all creatures, all things in the world? What are your plans for the next phase of the work? How many people are waiting to be shepherded? Is your task a heavy one? They are poor, pitiable, blind, and at a loss. Wailing in the darkness, where is the way? How they yearn for the light like a shooting star, to suddenly descend and dispel the dark forces that have oppressed man for years. Who knows just how much they yearn for this, all day and all night. Even when the light flashes past, these tormented people remain imprisoned in a dark dungeon without the hope of release. When will their tears dry? Terrible is these fragile spirits' misfortune, who've never known rest. And long have they been trapped by merciless bonds and frozen history. And who has heard the sound of their wailing? Who has looked upon their miserable state? Has it ever occurred to you how grieved and anxious God's heart is? How can he bear to see innocent man, created with his own hands, suffer so? Human beings, after all, are the victims who have been poisoned. Though man has survived, who knows that they have long been poisoned by the evil one? Have you forgotten that you are one of the victims? Are you not willing to strive out of your love for God to save these survivors? Are you not willing to devote all your energy to repaying God who loves man as his flesh and blood? Amen. Amen. This passage is so inspiring. They're so motivational. Yeah. yeah. We can feel God's urgent desire from his words. For those who live under Satan's dominion and have not come before God, God feels worried and hopes for their salvation in the last days. Yeah. yeah. I've accepted God's work of the last days. I knew I should bring those who hadn't come to God into God's house to accept salvation. I should take this as my responsibility. Yeah. In the age of grace, Many people were martyred to spread the gospel. And in the end, the gospel was spread to every corner of the world and known to all. I thought of Noah, who built the ark to fulfill God's commission for 120 years, despite the mockery, slander, and difficulties he faced, he didn't give up. He completed God's commission and gained God's approval. Noah had such great faith in God. Yeah. yeah. I had some difficulties in preaching the gospel and suffered a bit. But these were a far cry from the price paid by saints through the ages. I thought back to when others preached the gospel to me. I also refused them at first, and I didn't accept it several times. Now why couldn't I treat Feng Min with as much love as they had? She didn't know the truth yet and was trapped in her notions, 
So wasn't it normal for her to be resistant? I couldn't give up on her just because it's hard. Once I saw this, I felt deep regret. And then I swore to God, no matter what difficulties I encountered while preaching, I'd do my best to spread the gospel. This was my responsibility and duty. Thank God. Knowing God's will gives you confidence and strength. True. Yeah. Yes. Later, I continued taking care of Fang Min and reading God's words to her. One day, she said to me, Through the words of God you've read to me, now I understand. People shouldn't delimit God to what is in the Bible. God's work is new and never old, and what the Bible contains is God's past work. If God returned and did the things recorded in the Bible, then God's work would be repeating. Right. It would lose its meaning that way. Yeah. yeah. Only when God does new work beyond the Bible, allowing people to undergo judgment and be cleansed on the basis of accepting the Lord's redemption, can they truly be saved. If I still cling to God's previous work, even if I read the Bible, I will never gain the truth. I need to, in the last days, follow God's footsteps. Thank, Thank God. God. When I saw Feng Min had come around, I was very happy. I also saw God's sheep listen to God's voice. If Satan disturbs them, or if they have notions, in the end, they will accept the truth and come before God. Yes. After, Feng Min read God's words proactively and went to gatherings, and her illness gradually improved. Thank, Thank God. God. Jai Yin gave a lot of fellowship on God's word to address Feng Min's ideas, and Feng Min became certain about God's work. Thank God. She also said to me, when you read God's word in the past, Although I outwardly ignored you, I was listening to some of it, and I felt Almighty God's words had the truth, but I feared I might be wrong and didn't accept it. Now I understand and I accept. Thank, Thank God. God. Seeing Fang Min certain about God's work, I was very happy and deeply moved. God determines the moment when each person returns to God's house. And as long as we rely on Him, we can see God's deeds. Thank God. Later, Feng Min offered to spread the gospel to her friends and acquaintances. After some cooperation, 14 people accepted God's work in the last days. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. That's wonderful. It, it is. is. Through this experience preaching, I genuinely saw God's deeds. During this, though I encountered difficulties, and sometimes I was weak. I experienced how God uses this to perfect my faith and my love and equip me with more truth. I experienced how relying on God is the greatest wisdom. Good. Now I'm even more determined to preach the gospel. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God.